Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today, this is going to be a video which is massive sad news for a lot of players. And also, I suppose, good news for some players, depending on which way you want to look at this. So, I've got confirmation that the Renegade Raider, the Skull Trooper, the Gold Trooper are all going to be returning to Fortnite Battle Royale. For credits across Fortnite leaks, this is amazing information for everybody out there. As you can see on screen right now, I have the evidence of this. Basically, someone was messaging Fortnite Battle Royale Epic Games support team and basically they were talking about the idea of old skins returning such as the renegade raider as the conversation goes through they ask about different things and the guy actually confirms i can inform you that the renegade raider or he calls it the renegade roller as well as any other rotational item shop cosmetics will be making reappearances in the future i personally and he talks about what website he uses to see what's in the store cool like Really cool, interesting case as well. I think it's awesome to see that. But it's funny how he spelled Renegade Roller rather than Renegade Raider. And that he actually goes to correct in a moment. You'll see that. And what's interesting about this is because he goes and the guy goes, not the Roller, the Raider. And he talks about it and talks about which season from season one at level 25, if I was uh, not mistaken. And the Epic Games player support actually replies with this. You can see down below. Hello, my mistake. The Renegade Raider should be available at some point. It was purchasable for 1,200 V-Bucks. Wow, this is amazing news for everybody out there who wants to get their hands on the Renegade Raider, but rip the OG players. I understand exactly how people are feeling about this. And you know, I have mixed feelings about it personally as well. I know that OG players will be very upset about this, but let's take a little look into this in a little bit more depth and talk about what other skins could be getting leaked. And then we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages to this. So the other skins that most likely will be getting leaked in the future to return will be the Skull Trooper and the Gold Trooper. If this is the case, we're probably going to see the return of Skull Trooper around Halloween. We're also going to see the return of Gold Trooper around Halloween. Every single skin will be returning to Fortnite Battle Royale at some point in time. And again, it makes perfect sense for this to happen in general. Now, in general, has a lot of like pros and cons, and I'm going to go over all them for you guys right now. So, the return of all these skins has a major impact on the game. It could lose players, and it will also gain players. For profit, it increases. For scams, it reduces them. And for OG players, they get pretty sad. But what can Fortnite do and what are they doing about this? Well, Fortnite themselves know that a lot of people want to get their hands on Skull Trooper. And there are so many scams out there at the moment within Fortnite where people are just falling to them and they're just getting attracted to scams. And once you're at the scam, people kind of go, you know, this is like $200 for a skin. Next minute, they're like, no, $100, uh, $50. No, $10 will do. You give someone $10, you don't even get access to the account and you lose $10. I've seen many, many of these online and know a few people who have been scam by them so it's very good for them to bring back the skins to reduce scams however all the skins will lose their value and their og status that they currently have so we've got to be careful on kind of where we're looking at this from because i know my friend rain hunters he's got all of the og skins almost apart from gold trooper and he loves using renegade raider and skull trooper all the time but he's thinking you know it's kind of just kicking the og players in the back and to be honest i agree with that status but you know you've got to think about it a little bit because when you think about it in general i know there's a lot of og players out there but compared to the mass the og players is a very small population of the game the downside to it is i personally am an og player as well i didn't purchase the skins at the time i've been playing since the game i was in beta before it was even released to the public and you know I feel like they are kind of just pushing away the OG players and they were the ones who made the game big. They were the starters, they kickstarted the game, they gave the game a huge boost to get the game to the stage it's at now and kind of just saying, you know, we're going to release all these skins for everyone at some point and the people who originally bought them may feel a little bit down about it and that's the same with everything. So we can see the return of Gold Trooper, Skull Trooper around Halloween, it's guaranteed and it's the same with Save the World. You've got guns in there as well, for example the Grave Digger, you've also got again the Gold Trooper, the Skull Trooper and two other skins as well, you've got Halloween Llama and some sort of witch type skin in Save the World which are exclusive to Save the World. There are two Halloween skins as well which really aren't really talked about much within the Fortnite community. Obviously a lot of people within the Fortnite community and probably no 
near enough 90% of the people watching this video are just for Battle Royale and probably don't even play Save the World. But for those out there that do play Save the World, yes, you can probably expect all of the Halloween items to make a return as well around the Halloween like season and stuff. We've also seen this in the Fortnite community recently, the dev update for Save the World, which dropped today. This actually talks about how you can open a birthday llama, which can contain heroes and weapons from every event this year. I don't know if that means from like 2018 onwards, or does it mean from the start of Fortnite? I personally believe the start of Fortnite, obviously this year, from the because it's a birthday thing. So this means it could hold Halloween skins, for example, Skull Trooper, Gold Trooper, but obviously this is Save the World, but potentially we could see a thing like this popping into Battle Royale. Again, with Save the World, it's slightly different to Fortnite because you can trade in it and there's not really as many third party things out there. But for Fortnite Battle Royale, there are so many third party things out there that are really negative on the community and can cause a lot of hate and scams and all sorts of problems for Epic Games. I saw one the other day that was for Android. Someone was like, Fortnite Android is out now, click this. And so many people got their account hacked because they clicked it. It's a serious problem and they are trying to crap down on it. Obviously, Android is nothing related to skins, but I've seen ones out there all the time for getting access to Skull Trooper, for getting access to Renegade Raider, basically account trading, so where people would trade their accounts online and they'd pay for it and all sorts of stuff going on. On Twitter, there are so many scams out there. There are people putting stuff in the bottom of like Epic Games' thing. There's loads of links on videos sometimes you see. I try to disable all links as soon as possible, but sometimes a few get through. There's absolutely scams everywhere. I see them all the time on Ali A's videos. They are everywhere all over the internet and people do get attracted to these scams so easily. I know there are so many people that play this game who are under the age of 12 you see it all the time in like party chats and all sorts of different places on save the world and the global chat all sorts and that on the for example the xbox search page where you can search for squads there are so many people out there who are under the age of 12 who actually play the game and they're the sort of people these scammers are targeting because obviously they're young they don't understand everything the mom and dad probably don't really know too much about fortnite battle royale and that's why fortnite are most likely going to release these skins to the public again once well it once again in the future so you know it's sad news for all the og players out there but it is gonna happen and that's the reasons why really other than scamming obviously profit's a major thing as well but it's a combination of both so the profit is massive for releasing these skins for example look at the red knight the red knight had to be one of the fortnite top skin sales it had to be i couldn't see any other skin being on par with that the red knight oh my the hype for it was massive the amount of people that were so excited for it being released they were all like oh my we've got to get our hands on that red knight instantly and so many people were buying the red knight i bought the red knight i know near enough near enough 25 percent of my subscribers gained access to that red knight i know so many of you messaged me on twitter like i bought the red knight yay and so i was just absolutely insane i've never seen so many people tweet me at one stage when the red knight dropped so the red knight itself is something pretty major within the community and we're most likely going to see that sort of effect with skull trooper and renegade raider now renegade raider isn't a skin that not well, to be honest, not many people know about it, if you think about it, because I know a lot of people didn't really play around then. It's not really seen in YouTube thumbnails. Not many people have it, and it's the sort of skin that is super rare. It's a Season 1 exclusive. It's like saying that John Wick is going to return. It's a weird one. It's like saying that the Black Knight's going to return. Again, it's kind of one of them OG things that we don't really know where to stand on it, because potentially, I personally do believe that the Black Knight and John Wick will make a return. Maybe not to the item store, but definitely to a separate seasonal store or past seasonal store or maybe a skin pack or that type of thing. Again, it could be quite a cost for it, but I definitely think like a seasonal store or a past seasonal pack that maybe would be like $40 or, and it, or $20 and it comes with a few skins, maybe two or three, could potentially be the return of John Wick, Black Knight, leaving us season pass owners for season one, season two, season three, uh, season four. Obviously, season one didn't have a season pass, but for season two, three, and four, us out there who have been like grinding these skins potentially eventually in the future will be wiped and kind of just brought out for everyone. And that's just the case I can imagine to happen it's kind of sad but it's what's going to happen and the way fortnite are actually doing it is because scams and it makes perfect sense but for profits as well and obviously the profits aren't too major for us it's only the epic games themselves but they've got to get the much out of the game as they can before the game dies the game could die if they bring all these skins out but to be honest the answer to that question is only the og players will say that it's going to die because the og players are the only ones that are going to be a little bit salty about it and that's fair enough i know my friend ray and he's not a big fan of it and i'm 
I'm not a big fan of it either, and I don't actually own any of the OG skins, but I'm just giving you guys the reasons, basically, and that's exactly why Epic Games have planned to do something like this. It's a, it's so frustrating, and I've talked to so many OG players as well, and they're so annoyed by it, but in general, the amount of OG players out there compared to the current like mass or the current player base is near enough. I don't know the exact percentages, but if I could predict it, I'd probably say about three to four percent of people are OG players with actual skins. Maybe even less, maybe two percent of people, maybe even one percent of people are actually OG players with the skins. There's a lot of OG players like myself who don't have the skins, but OG players who actually have all three of them, Gold Trooper, Renegade Raider, and Skull Trooper, would be near enough. Uh, if I could put a percentage on that, I'd probably put 0.5, maybe even 0.25, really low percentage on that if I could put a percentage on that, because let's be honest, how many people are going to have Renegade Raider, how many people are going to have Gold Trooper, how many people are going to have Skull Trooper all in one account, I know there's a few of you out there who have one of them, and that's fair enough, but you know, a few of you probably want to gain access to them in the future, and that's why Epic are releasing these. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, do stick around for daily Fortnite content. I bring Fortnite content out every single day, bringing out a wide range of content, covering all sorts of different topics from news, tips, tricks, all sorts of challenge guides, all sorts of kind of leaks and stuff like that. The main thing I'm covering recently is a lot of leak stuff because all the leaked information is pretty high at the moment, especially around the gifting system technically this means we can actually gift the renegade raider the school trooper and the gold trooper in the future when the gifting system gets added into the game again there's a bunch of different features that we're going to see being added into the game we're going to possibly see the return of also the qatar emote which is going to be awesome as well and possibly the return of power cord as well that one probably epic will hype up a little bit before it actually drops but as soon as that one does drop oh my the world again of epic games will be going mad the money will be rolling in for epic the community will be going crazy buying it and the og players unfortunately will be pretty sad but that's the case it is and unfortunately that's the way epic games roll and that's the way things are going to work from now on so i'm sorry to announce this but it's awesome information for everyone who doesn't have access to these skins yet so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video like i said leave a like comment and subscribe and once again, I'll see you in the next video. This is Postbox Pat, signing out.